it trim trime. It is now trime to draw a card. <laughs> Time to draw a card. Um Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I've ever drawn a location card. I'm gonna do it. At least I mean haven't recorded myself drawing one. Let's do a location card. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What should I draw? I don't know. Maybe I'll just be random. Let's. Uh huh. It's coming to me. Coming to me. Yep. It needs to be some sort of forest. All right. Time to start drawing the trees. Best way. And I mean best way to draw trees is to not plan it out at all. Be as random as you can. Oh yeah. Look at that tree. Okay. Do another tree. Right here, branch comes out like this, a little bit of leaves right there. And it comes out again. This one goes up real far. Look at this crazy looking tree. I've always found that a good way to draw roots is to not end them. See how I leave those roots open? Good way to make roots look just fine. Okay, so this is how you draw a knot. Swirl. Look at that knot in the tree. And then you just do a few jagged dashes, and that makes the bark. Super, super simple. Okay. There's that part of the tree. I like to draw things in odd numbers, so I'm going to do one more major tree. It comes up like this. Ooh, ooh, it's doing something crazy. It comes back. Oh, there's one disobedient tree. I want to go all over the place. Don't be disobedient. Or to grow into this kind of tree. Your life isn't nearly as happy. Okay, look at that big tree. Alright, let's draw a few trees in the background. The ones in the background are not as well detailed. Just like this. Another tree that goes back there. Trunks of trees. Probably one of the hardest things is trying to remember what's a tree and what's not. Hmm. Okay. Then we put in horizon line. That is the horizon line right back there. And now, let's see, what's going to make this a unique forest? This tree is right in the middle. Maybe, uh-huh. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. It's called... Web Root Forest. Completely random, just made up on the spot. This became the web foot forest. The web root forest. So, in order to make it look like that, just gotta put a lot of roots. Extra roots going all over the place. Some of them making it look like almost a web. Put all 
those little double lines for all the roots. Isn't that simple? Okay, those are tons of roots. It's a system of web-like roots. Okay, now down here, this location gets gives special abilities. All plant beasts receive plus one health. Cannot go above six. Can't even read. I can't even read that. But it's supposed to say. All plant beasts receive plus one health cannot go above six. Web root forest is now ready to be colored. Now, forest tends to have less light down at the bottom, so we like to use darker colors usually to make them look better. So for leaves, we don't want a brighter green. I mean, you could if you wanted to. I've done it before, but for me, I want to do a darker green right now. All right, sort of a darker, but not too dark, of a green. All these many leaves. Leave it to me to make all these leaves. That wasn't a very good joke, sorry. Uh, maybe that's a little bit of green there. There, mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Color in these beautiful leafy trees. I guess if you cut down all the trees, they'd be leaving. <laughs> Another bad joke. Sorry. Okay. things and stuff. And I don't even follow the lines exactly. I go outside of the lines all the time. It's kind of fun to do that. Should be a type of green. Do I have any greens in here I haven't used? I don't think I've used this green. Let's use this green. It's a tiny bit different. That's all we need, just something that's a tiny bit different. just decided we need grass. How do you do grass? Grass is just a series of three lines right next to each other. That gives us our grass. And the sky back there, I really feel like it should be a blue but not too dark, so I'm going to use a light blue. Okay. Shade in the background there. Typically, I like sunsets the best for the backgrounds of forests, but I need to be different today. If 
probably didn't mention, location cards are drawn at an angle, not up and down. What is it? We draw them hot dog style, not hamburger style. No, oh, I got that wrong. That's hamburger style. That's hot dog style. We draw these hamburger style. Okay, that's all shaded in the back. Now, for location cards, they typically do it brown, but since this is a special card for plants, we are going to fill in the borders green. cards very often. Typically you only draw a few of them up to maybe 10 and then you don't need any more. The game only requires about 10 of these cards in order to play it. 10 location cards. At least shade that in. Not too much because we still want to read it. And now we put these in a deck protector sleeve but different from the regular color. I usually use black for all the cards, so the location cards get red. Here we are. Drawing that side there, and that location card is now done. This is the Webroot Forest.